Hey, it's Anime K Swimming Bird. You hear that sound? We are in the middle of a very special Splatter Day Night Live. It is Splatoween, a Splatfest celebration of all things Splat. Can I say Splat even more? This is the special event for Halloween, of course, and tricolor battles have begun. And you can see Deep Cut, they're all together. The float has linked up into its final form, and we finally get to hear the spooky version of Anarchy Rainbow. How's everyone doing tonight? I'm ready to get into it. We have a new tricolor stage, or at least new to me. I don't think we've had this one before. Pretty sure it's brand new, 99% sure. But before that, we need to get an update. So in the sneak peek period, Team Ghost, my team, he says with a smug smile on his face, won the most conch shells. And here's the halftime report. Let's see who's in the lead. I already know. And I'm not happy about it. No. 34%, just barely above by a percent or two. Team Skeleton, my second choice. How are they in first place right now? It's simple, we're on fire. Keep it up, squad, follow my lead. Hey, hey while we're arguing, let's, let's steal the win. Tricolor battle unlocked. I see you, big man. Team Shiver, no more floundering. Show some teeth. Well, Team Shiver, or Team F uh, Fry is always showing teeth. They're a skeleton. All right, let's get into it. Might play a little bit of uh, Open or Pro, but tonight is really about seeing Brine Water Springs. The hot spring is haunted for this Splatfest. All right, and if you are a Night Owl or Above member, I will mention, if you want to get in on this, I will do some passworded rooms pretty soon. Whoa, there we go. Oh, listen, we gotta hang out here a little bit so that you guys can hear the new version of Anarchy Rainbow. There he is. Boogie Man. Boogie Boogie Man. It keeps zooming in and out. There we go. He's doing his Oogie Boogie dance. Yeah, there's some extra spooky sound effects and uh, different backing music to it. But yeah, of course, they're in costume. It's almost like in a creepier key. This is like the dividing line here where the music fades. It's cool how it's got different layers depending on how far away from the stage you are and the speakers. I love these little guys. I put one in the thumbnail because they're so cute. Dancing around with their <laughs> trick-or-treat pail on their head. There we go, there's a team ghost. Okay, let's get in battle. Very good vibe. Very bad vibes, but good vibes, if you know what I mean. And now we have Deeper's Creepers Day 2. That's the lobby music. It's even spookier than it was. Look how big the moon is. The moon is never that big in real life, but in fiction it's always so huge. It looks like it would just throw the tides off and cause all sorts of mayhem. All right, let's get our play of the day and get back in. There we go. I think we have enough food for a little while, right? I was getting pretty low. We can hear the... Oh, maybe I need a new... Yeah, let's do... That's we can hear the crab and go spooky song as well. The most unexpected spooky song, in my opinion. Didn't think they would add a new song for that. All right. I think I got decent gear. I was messing around with some different stuff because I wanted to use these. Uh, I'm not sure how I feel about them, but the, uh, the squid bone unslips are very fitting. Let's put back on a Halloween mask, though. The skull one is good, but... Okay, this seems good. Maybe we'll warm up with the paintbrush. I was having a good time with it last night. And of course, tricolor with friends. All right, I'm gonna make a room. For now, I'm gonna leave it open. And then in a little bit, I'll, I'll open it up to more people. Or, um, you know, if you didn't get in during this period, I'll open it up for some people that wanna jump in. Brian jumped in so quick with the heavy edit. All right, let's try this out. Yeah, JCN, quick, someone use the Song of Time. The moon is 
getting a little too close. I thought I saw a face in there. Or maybe a rabbit. Okay. How's everyone enjoying the Splatfest? I'm not sure how this map is going to be because it is one of the smallest, most uh, Tetris piece-like of the maps. Brian's got the witch hat on. I almost forgot about using that as a costume. It's a very good one. A lot of the amiibo costumes uh, have sort of a dress-up vibe to them, so they work well for Splatoween. <laughs> Hidden ghost Dumbo octopus. But yeah, I'm uh, I'm a little worried about this map. We'll see. I do like that the tricolor colors or the team colors, purple, orange, and green, that they've been using for more than a year now for a lot of the Splatfests are very Halloween coded. So I think it's good that uh, they match up here. They didn't even have to change it. Oh, I was gonna reveal more ghosts, but we'll have to wait on that. This is Ethan's first time watching the Splatfest. Good to have you. Okay. We are defending. It's a, oh, it's a ghost friendly fire battle. Brian's been doing well. He's got the thing above his name. Okay, I like that one team. So here's the defender platform on the side. Very strange looking over here. Does not feel right. This is usually the place where people try to push in and camp you. Oh, they got rid of the tree. Hmm. Uh-oh. No, Brian! Ah! They were... Oh, okay. There was a disconnect. I was like, why are you dancing around leading all the missiles to me? <laughs> he was trying to do a trick. No. All right. <laughs> Ashley's amiibo are still being displayed in the box. Yeah, that wasn't... Well, I mean, it was a friendly fire battle, so at least it wasn't one that we wanted to take part in as much, right? I'm very much enjoying the Bleak Beak mask. I will probably use this outside of Splatoween quite a bit, because it's fun. Also, an opportunity to mention again, I still need to try to play it sometime for the channel, but Bloodstained, the Castlevania spiritual successor... I had a little bit of a small partnership in that game years ago. I know Ashley, one of our mods, backed for the uh, Swimming Bird clan or whatever it was called, but there, if you put your name in as Swimming Bird, I think 941, the full thing, you will get a special Plague Doctor mask that looks very much like the one I'm wearing in this, but it has the colors of the heron. So yeah, that would be a good Halloween thing to play. I have too many things I want to do for Halloween. Okay, we got a... Not counting what we're already doing. We got an actual tricolor match. We are defending again. Want to get a little bit of this turf here at least. This is a good spot to send my curling bombs down. Oh. Oh, Brian. Oh, I had just a little bit of a, a little bit of a finisher there from Brian's good work. They might be not close enough for me to have used that, really. Oh! Ah! Well, I was too busy watching the Zipcaster. I got splatted. Hmm. I don't have stealth on, do I? I gotta remember to put those... Stealth super jump shoes on. Can't be too stealthy when you're, uh... Oh, so close. Ah! Okay, we got him. Um, can't be too stealthy when I've got the tactic cooler. Brian was chasing somebody all the way around, it looked like. So many... Wave breakers. I've heard the wave breaker is not as, uh not seen as as good as it used to be. I still like the specials that you can just kind of throw down and don't have to worry as much of uh, what they're up to. Then I can focus on using my main weapon more. I see you there. Well, I'm using a wave breaker right now. I forgot. <laughs> it's too focused on the enemy one. 
I thought it was done. Oh, I see. A skelly back here. Okay, we're good. Yeah, this is a lot of getting used to the map right now. And also... I gotta make sure I have a heads up on whoever I'm fighting, because the paintbrush is so slow that it is tough otherwise. Yeah. <laughs> I can just really uh, kind of spawn camp these guys. <laughs> They're having trouble getting out of base. Here they come. They're looking for me again. There they are. Paint your feet, Brian. They're going for the tricolor at the last second. But we won't let them. This feels very defender, uh, defender biased, but we'll see. The lanterns look really nice on this one for Splatoween. Maybe that's why they picked it. Get the new victory music. We have a variety of masks, too. All right, good warm-up match. I do think the, the curling bomb does well enough on that match, or map, because I can just send it up a hill, so. This is all right, I don't know, there's a lot of uh, different height levels where I don't know if the wave breaker's doing me as well, but we'll keep going with the pain brush a little longer. And then I will swap out my buddy here after this one, so we give some other people a chance to get in. Let's reveal the hidden octos. There they are. Little cute dumbos. Oh, I forgot to open the Q&A, didn't I? Let me do that real quick. I can't do my... You can't even see that my little octoline is smiling when I have this mask on. He just stares creepily. Okay. Q&A is up. And click the little box to ask any questions you have. It's interesting to see when, like, the majority of people are wearing the masks. How there's a, a handful that are like, no, I'm using my good gear. Well, they want to win for their team. So this is a friendly fire match. Otherwise, I wouldn't be orange. Ah! <laughs> I was going for one, and then they velociraptored me. Oh, we might get a lost ultra signal immediately. I thought we were very defender biased, but I guess not. Ah! I'm so bad at I'm focused on one, and then I just get surrounded. Both of the signals are already gone. Well, I thought it was very defender bias, but we're just getting destroyed by the purple team, especially. Oh, are the alerts not working again? I just tested them. Ah, I saw them there. Distracted. I feel like I can't even get out of spawn. Their team, purple team, is doing a good job of sharking around. There they are. Where'd they go? Oh! <laughs> well, that was satisfying to see the, uh... Bye-bye! Um, I got the assist with my wave breaker right at the end. Right when they used there. Call it. I can't even think. Yeah. They used their ultra stamp. Yeah, this is like the opposite of the first battle. I do feel like whenever I go against an ink brush, I have a much harder time. I thought I just saw someone. 
I'm just getting so many specials. Inkbrush just outpaces the paintbrush, and then I'm like, I want to use the inkbrush. <laughs> as much as I think the paintbrush is cool. <laughs> Alright. I'm just gonna have to try to run into Purple's base and get as much as I can here at the last few seconds. Oh, okay. They had their armor. Alright, let me not get distracted by this again. It's the whole time I'm just thinking about how this wasn't working. Gotta test it. Hold on to your butts. It seems like it's working. <laughs> I don't know why sometimes it does and sometimes it doesn't. One more for good measure, just to make sure. Okay, we're good. <laughs> Okay, we're gonna try to swap around. That was a friendly fire match, at least. Let's see. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Um, what do I want to use? Let's have better. <laughs> there we go. It's working. <laughs> working too well. Um, use like a shooter weapon for a little while. Might go with different shoes. Here we go. This will be good. Alright. Ashley thinks I'm messing with alerts to mess with her. No, I really, I test it every stream and then sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. Very finicky. When it works, it works. When it doesn't, I spend the whole match thinking about it. Uh-oh. Okay, we're good. A little bit of a jumbled start to this stream. Let's see here. Oh, I need to be ri Oh, hold on. I'm waiting for people. Dressing up for Halloween this year, asks Roski. I did last Sunday. I don't think I'm going to tomorrow. Did I use use the lol emoji in the title? I didn't think I did. Ghostface is here. This is probably void, right? Or is this... We had a multiple Ghostface, right? We had Kirby and we had Void. I think this is Void from the Dapple Dooleys. Okay. Good to go. Thank you, Gooigi, for the super chat. I gotta catch up with all this stuff. Ashley and Steven for gifting a membership and for the super chat. And Gooigi for the super chat. They said, not using the lol emoji. Is that what the skull is? That, it's just a skeleton. Okay, that is void. Kirby was Jigsaw. Okay. Can't keep track of all these murderers in our community. All right, let's see how I do. Oh. <laughs> We're getting all the super chat ones. We got to play the member one eventually. Let's see if I do a little better here with splat bombs and a uh, more reliable weapon. Whoop, getting backed up a little. Here we go. Okay. I know the Zuka vanilla splatter shot is more popular, but I'm not very good with the Zuka, so I'm gonna go ahead and use the good old triple ink strike version, the tent attack. 
What are you guys doing? Do we have a disconnect? There's a bat. There's a. Okay. There was a squid party going on. I don't know if I should interrupt it or not, but also. I want to play. <laughs> Sorry, Lid. Oh. I don't know what that guy's doing. <laughs> Is it because it's friendly fire? They just don't want to play and they're going to sit there? I guess I'll leave them there. We're going to focus on. Blue team? Oh. Looked like they were shooting their own buddy. Ah, well. I didn't have enough angst to do that. It's Lydia Dietz, maybe. A Beetlejuice person. I don't know what to do in this scenario, because I'm like, I just want to play the match, but do I need to not shoot the one person? They got the ultra signal anyways. Huh. I don't usually get into the scenarios where people are just kind of hanging around and not playing normally. Maybe it is because it's a uh, friendly fire match. Oh. There we go. Got a case of the Halloween sillies over here. Seems like. Yeah, this guy. <laughs> I don't know what to do. Feels too mean to take them out when they're just sitting there, but their friend is still attacking me, so it's like... I don't know. Poor Lydia's stuck on a team with someone who's just not doing anything, but maybe that's their friend. Alright. Ashley said, Adam's here to compete, not to have fun. Well, it's fun to actually play the game, in my opinion. <laughs> I know people like to do good parties and do stuff, but I feel like that's more for private battles and friend stuff. Yeah, they're just playing a trick on their own partner. I think that's what's happening. Okay. Yeah, I'm, uh, so the mods and I are all gonna get together and watch a spooky movie tomorrow. And Danny as well. And then, I don't know if I should dress up, because we did that last weekend. So I'm like, hmm, I wonder if I should just have a completely different thrown-together costume. I know some people were bothered by me not talking to Judd, but he just tell, tell me about chunks. Um, yeah. I'm gonna watch a spooky movie, maybe play... Some Dungeons and Dragons or something. We'll see. Alright, putting out the invite to the pool. Get a sip of coffee here. I was going to start a little earlier, but I was like, I need a nap after <laughs> after streaming multiple days in a row. And I think it did help to uh, to power up a little bit. I do want to check what the other maps are, so if we do want to take a break from Tricolor, get more of you in here, we have that option. Okay. What about Thanksgiving? I, I like Thanksgiving more than, like, Christmas and most of the other <laughs> winter holidays. But I do think, uh... I, feel, I kind of feel bad for Thanksgiving because it doesn't get decorated as specifically. It's like Halloween has its huge period of time, usually ramped up from like August, September, which I enjoy. But then, uh, you know, Christmas and other winter holidays take over after that and Thanksgiving stuck in the middle. It's not as widely celebrated. There's different... Doesn't Canadian Thanksgiving's in October, right? So... Get some of this crucial home turf here. Don't booyah me. Okay. Oh, I got somebody. Oh, 
Oh, it's tracking him. They got a little too far away. Some of these, even though they're real basic weapons that everyone probably knows decently well, I uh, don't have that much experience with the splatter shot, honestly. I tend to opt for some of the weirder, more unconventional weapons, so I don't always remember my my good range for this thing. I'm letting them get too far into our base. Trying to be sneaky. <laughs> the sound of the ultra signal just like shattering immediately is really funny to me. Booyah is like nobody's business. They did buff the aerosprays. Booyah. Oh no, they got it. Shouldn't have used my special there. Um. Then they, they buffed the amount of points you need to get booyahs with the aerospray, weirdly enough. Like, it, I think it was good enough at getting them before. Ah. I need to use this box more. I'm not sure who this is in the blue troop here. You can identify yourself in the chat if you want. Escape from that. I'm a little worried about Purple Team. We're getting so many friendly fire. Again, it makes me think Team Ghost might be the most uh, popular. Let's try to. Last second special here and push in on purple because they're the ones that were in the lead. Alright, hopefully that was good. Let's see here. Are you excited for Super Mario RPG? asks Autumn. Favorite game of this year also asks the autumn. Super Mario RP RPG, the more I think about it, the closer we get, the more tempted I am to maybe try to stream that and play through it. Because I think doing videos, it would take a, a lot longer. But if I streamed it, I've never played Super Mario RPG. And the remake seems like a good way to do it, so. I'm, I'm tempted to, uh, to do that. You guys can let me know what you think if you're interested in watching that. Let's do one more with the pro. That seemed to go pretty well. Or not pro, what is it? Tentatech, splatter shot. Let's see. But yeah, I am interested. I know it's a uh, seen as a, one of the SNES classics, so I feel like it's something I should experience one day. I've played Paper Mario, you know, the a lot of the Paper Mario games, just haven't really done the original. Have I watched Monster House and Paranormal? Paranorman? Is that the Alan's asking? I have not seen Monster House. I did watch Paranorman, uh, I think a couple years ago with Danny. That was pretty good. I don't remember much about it, but... <laughs> I remember enjoying it well enough. Um, let's see. Tarachu says, what would happen if someone guessed the code to get in the room? Well, more power to you. I feel like you're the one that's always like, I want to guess the code. <laughs> it's become a, uh, a heist to crack for you. Hmm. Favorite Splatfest song from each game? I don't remember the titles of them well enough. We're finally attacking. Okay, let's go. We can do it. I didn't pay attention if this is the real teams or not. Can you tell on the map? Not really. But I can see. There we go. Ah. 
Ah! Went all in. Oh! We meant Lark is here, and they were in a random match with us recently. Awesome! Hopefully it wasn't the one where I was doing real bad, but... <laughs> no. Oh, that's my teammate. Need ink. You gotta be careful with how many sub weapons I keep using. Also, I need to not just shoot the ultra signal randomly, because sometimes I want to let people get it. <laughs> Every time you touch the Ultra Signal, it does make it shorter for you to capture it or whoever's, you know, coming up to capture it. So it's worth laying hands on it, even if you don't get it. Because each attempt shortens that timer, which I didn't actually learn until a good amount of time into the game. <laughs> that was like a uh, part of tricolors that I didn't realize. I think until one of the more recent Splatfests, honestly. Some of us is not as uh, intuitive as you would think, maybe. Oh, there we go. Okay. We just killed. Multiple people that maybe are on the green team. <laughs> that said, Lark was in the match where I did bad, but they also did bad as well. <laughs> yeah, whatever that one, uh, one match, I think the wiper and brush combo were just... It had my number. I got it! Because <laughs> I spammed my special, so they couldn't tell I was grabbing it as well, or it couldn't really hit me. Alright, we got a signal right at the end. Hopefully that was enough. <laughs> Probably barely did anything, because it was like the last second. Oh, okay. The other team got it, though, which means we won! We just don't get to celebrate as well. Thank you, little witch and squid face. Swim Reaper. I remember the mask name now. I still had uh, overall splatter, which isn't too bad. Okay. Big clout boost. I'm ready to switch weapons to something a little sillier now. All right. Not necessarily sillier. I don't know. What <laughs> Something a little more uh, unorthodox. Hmm, I want something with some range. Because this feels like a, a good map to kind of try that. I have not played the ballpoint in a very long time. Um, how about... Oh no, we need a spooky. I can't not have a spooky mask. Let's be some sort of weird Gatling gun pirate. That sounds good. All right. I play way more of this weapon in Salmon Run when I randomly get it. Oh, we won in spirit. Ha ha ha. Thank you, Ashley. Oh, we got the same person. I feel bad, but I'm going to try to uh, mix up who we get in here. I don't recognize the name. I don't know if they said who they were in chat. I want to make sure any ghosts... Oh, it's Guiji! Alright, if you can get in one more time, Guiji, then you'll be good. You're fine. <laughs> it's a challenge. I just want to make sure I, uh, I give other people a chance to jump in, because I only have one person who can join me during Tricolor. Shrimp! Delicious. I haven't had shrimp in years. Sorry, Guiji. 
We'll get you back in here soon. So if you're part of the pool, random joker, I can show you. This is the pool. It is just called Swimming Bird, one word. And you can join uh, when I put out the notification. It is a little tough to get in just from that, but you can give it a shot when you know. There's about a seven second delay, very low latency on the stream, but it's there, so you can tie it or try it. Some people like Charchu and I think Guiji are some of the ones that I remember are very good at timing their uh, lobby jump ins. So if I want to keep it long range, I have to have it at the, la the last corner. Or no, you go longer to get it. It's just when it's starting to slow down, right? Just do that. <laughs> I have to remember the ins and outs of this thing. Thank you, Steven, posting the pool name in the chat. Quality of life changes for the game. Hmm. Trying to think. What is what what are some examples that other people have? Oh, this is a this is a real match, so I gotta try to do my best to attack. That's even my oh, fizzy bomb. This will be interesting. I haven't used fizzy bomb in a long time. There we go. Oh, they got me. But we got the signal. Thanks to shrimp. Man, this is a lot of uh, stuff I have to <laughs> adjust to at once, so that's okay. I'm trying my best here. Hey, you. Man, I'm not great with the inkjet either. Yeah, fizzy bomb I haven't used in a really long time. Nor the ballpoint. Occasionally I've used the inkjet. Ballpoint's really good though, so it's doing a lot of the work for me. Ah, I thought I had him. I shot right at him. <laughs> oh well. We should probably get our face painted a little better. Since we have the ultra signal, pick up some of the slack. Right into the booyah. Try to get a little bit back here, because otherwise this might be the difference at the end. All right, final push. Yeah, fizzy bomb is not the most stream-friendly uh, sub-weapon, so I try not to use it that much, but. Okay, we still won. Orange is just slightly more. I did get a lot of splats on that. I'm pretty happy with that. I forgot I was the pirate. I was like, why do I have shorts on? <laughs> that wasn't me. 
change gear, change weapons, completely forget who I am. All right. Last ditch effort was probably helping me a bit there. Even with one eye. All right. Let's do another with the ballpoint. I was enjoying that. Giving me good practice with the inkjet, honestly. Jail is here. <laughs> is that how you, that's how you spell it, right? Or say it. Isn't it uh, Gaelic? Thank you for liking the stream. Positive synergy. Is that how you say that? <laughs> I'm learning a lot of pronunciations. JCN's in here. They just got a gift membership. I forgot to say, welcome back to the early birds, G JCN. Oh, Tubby's all over the chat. Tubby clouds. Okay. Oh, qu yeah, quality of life. I'm trying to think. There's been stuff in the past that I've had my little nitpicks with, but I can't think of anything off the top of my head. I honestly, I would like more weapons per update since we only get them new at the new seasons, but I don't know. That's just the first thing that pops to my head because I think the weapons have been diminishing. I know a lot of the focus of development is on side order, seemingly. My biggest nitpick is that the development team had to move on from Animal Crossing to make this game, so they cursed Animal Crossing to not get as many updates. No. That's the, the spookiest part of Splatoon 3. I'm not good at uh, painting evenly with this thing, but... Oh, jeez. Okay, I'm lucky they were struggling to hit me there. Should probably just let those super chumps get that air. Oh no, this is my area, sort of. Maybe I shouldn't be doing that. We're defending. There we go. Had to rewire my brain there for a second. I kind of liked attacking more, honestly. Ah. Hit the S-Blast, that's what's happening. Oh. Sometimes when there's the, uh, I should have been down there. When there's the big bubbler sitting there, and I get all the hit confirm sounds, I'm like, oh, I'm getting them, I'm getting them. And then I realize, no, I'm just hitting the big bubbler. Oh, they got me. Oh, we got a, that's from the other team. I was gonna say, I don't think that's our, we can use that. Beacon, but how many reef sliders are you guys gonna get? <laughs> yeah, purple is squarely in the lead here. <laughs> All right, that was fun. Shot someone right off the shark and then got taken out, but oh well. Oh, I didn't mean to slide right down. They're getting so many reef sliders for such a low painting weapon, seemingly. Yeah, I don't think we're getting this one. I don't know what happened here, but purple is just... Really painting it. That's okay. Team Ghost won. Mm -mm 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 -mm. 
favorite Splatfest. Oh yeah, I saw it. I don't. Yeah, I. I tend to like. A, I would say if I'm gonna pick a Splatfest song, Big Betrayal or one of the more recent ones, because I actually like Deep Cut the most as a band. I mentioned before, you know, Squid Sisters, J-pop, still fun, but not my favorite style of music. And then Off the Hook, you know, kind of DJ rap duo. Again, I like Charisma.com and Chelmico and, and similar bands, but not my favorite style of music necessarily. I feel like the fusion that we get from Deep Cut is uh, the best of the three musically. So it would probably have to be one of the Deep Cut songs. All right. What class do I tend to gravitate towards in D&D? &D? Uh, the one campaign that Danny is running, she's we're doing Curse of Strahd with her as the DM. I play a ranger. Ranger, of course, getting a pet. I'm always drawn to games where I can have a pet. And then uh, I DM the other two things we're doing, so... But yeah, typically a ranger. If I had to pick a second class, I'm not actually sure what I would pick. I would probably force myself to pick a magic class because I tend to like more physical characters in, in like from soft games. I usually do strength or dex instead of, yeah, magic. It's spooky how granular I'm getting with this answer. No. But yeah, anything that lets me have a pet is great. Hmm. <laughs> Pokemon DLC before Mario RPG. Yeah, that, that would be good to do the Pokemon DLC first. Steven reminding me. Because that's only a couple hours long. I think we could finish that. Post Splatfest, I'm going to... And post Mario Wonder now, I'm going to try to do my best to actually get uh, some of the other series caught up again. So we have some on the back burner I don't want to forget. I've mentioned a few times. And I'm starting to feel like maybe an easier painting weapon would be benefit me more. <laughs> I can get my special at least. They're right under me! Ah! Wasn't paying enough attention, just kind of went down there. Just having some fun with the ball point, but... Rafa's here! Welcome, Rafa. There we go. They can get right up here. Yep, they can. Ah. <laughs> I was gonna say, isn't that sometimes on ver versions of this map there is not a way up onto this? But seems like there is on this one. Get right up onto our sneaky platform. Getting my ink jets relatively quick, at least. Oh, I shouldn't have killed them. They're my friend. <laughs> uh! <laughs> we just went for it. I loosened the pickle jar. I do think with some practice I could get really into the ballpoint, but... I was apprehensive to play too much of... Fizzy Bomb weapons. Because I am worried it's going to give people motion sick. Yes. Oh, no, they got me. We 
have very little ink, unfortunately. Why are you going to our area? We have so few ink. <laughs> uh. I just kind of went into it because I was like, I just want to get people out of our base. Oh, Rafa is getting a lot right at the end. We were like at the lowest and they were still pushing in on us. All right, time to switch off the ballpoint. I go back and forth where I'm like, I want to try a weapon. I don't play. Oh, I did. <laughs> Not that great with it. Let's go back to a old favorite. Favorite Nintendo game out of all that you've played. That is so tough. Char 2. I usually go back to Earthbound. I feel like any game that I want to replay over and over, I could play Earthbound like every year and not be bored of it. Same with Mother 3, although it's a heavier game. The story is a bit more uh, intense. But yeah, there's not that many games that I would play over and over again, so I think that's a good sign that that's probably my favorite. All right, what do we want to do? Hmm. I think I'm ready for a Splat Bomb weapon. Let's do a brush for a little bit. And then, what's the best spooky for this? Maybe, hmm. This seems all right. I could do this for my bomb. This is pretty good, right? Okay. Not putting too much thought into my outfits. Mackie says they ate a whole jar of Lay's French onion dip. Awesome. Hope you're, hope you're okay. Played a trick on your digestive system for Halloween. Thank you so much, Guiji. They gifted a membership. I don't know if it'll pop up here because the gifted ones are a little weird sometimes, but Jet Owl got it. Welcome back to the early birds, Jet Owl. Mm -mm -mm. Just say, welcome. They got a little ghost Kirby. I was thinking about Mario Wonder. I was like, one of the reasons why... Oop, I need to ready up. One of the reasons I maybe think of Kirby sometimes with that game, despite the gameplay, is also the little ghosts of the characters kind of look like ghost Kirby to me. I was also thinking about how uh, Mario Maker must have been like the really... The... It's like we paid Nintendo to give them an insane amount of data on what type of Mario levels people like to play. Which is kind of funny in retrospect. They're like, okay, people want shorter levels with crazier twists and stuff popping up. And that might be part of how the Wonder Flowers came to be. It kind of makes me want to replay Yoshi's Island, since... Super Mario Wonder is touch fuzzy, get dizzy the game, I feel like. I'm gonna leave half of that for when we come back. They're tracking me. Brain is going tap tap tap. Uh oh. Can't get over there in time. Nah, we lost both of the signals so quickly. That's why I want to attack. I don't have to worry about the signals. I just want to grab him. 
Yeah, I feel like this box is very important for retreat. Retreat. Retreating. I almost said retweeting. Then you can hop back up when you need to. Throwing sodas at me. Has anyone ever gone to a house that gave, like, soda or something for Halloween? I was thinking of, like, a... what other sugary things people could throw at you for Halloween. As a kid, I never really had any of the like full-size candy bar, cool house areas. Ugh. Right at the end, the soda house would be a good pit stop. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Oh, we never got that little bit that I left, hoping someone would fill it in. Capri Suns and soda. Okay, it's more common than I thought. Water bottles would probably help from all the sugar. As a kid, I would never eat the candy while I was out, though. I'd have to wait till we got home and check it over and all that stuff. How's the weather, asked Rafa. It's getting a lot colder, but not too bad. I would rather have it colder than warmer. The office, as soon as I stream, the office just, like, becomes a little sauna anyways, my, my streaming setup, so. Even when it's chilly out, I'm keeping warm in here. Tap, tap, tap in my brush. I'm trying to think of other spooky stuff to watch for Halloween, because I saw, yeah, people mentioning spooky movies because i'm gonna watch one tomorrow but i want something special well we're probably gonna try to stream something spooky around halloween but uh i've got a couple things still like i mentioned i have i got a box set of uh these yokai movies so i have two of them left i, I want to watch but yeah i want to come up with some stuff i haven't seen it gets harder and harder every year to find spooky stuff that's in my wheelhouse to watch I was thinking of other things to recommend to people, and I was going to mention, again, disclaimer, almost everything I mentioned, because it's horror, is going to have gore, going to have un, uh, unsightly stuff in it, so just be warned, but I was thinking about Dora Hetero again. Uh, I will mention, if you want to, something that has good comedy and spooky stuff and a lot of mystery and... Yeah, it's a really good world with good characters. There's an anime of it, and then the manga, if you want to continue it. Just thinking about that again, because there's a whole arc early on where zombies rise, and it becomes a game where they have to kill as many as they can to win a raffle. Just things like that that are fun. Um, yeah. Last night I did the zombie movie, skeleton movie, ghost movie recommendation. My view got all weird. I was trying to think of more skeleton movies, because honestly, that's kind of tough to come up with. Army of Darkness was the only one I could really think of on short notice. Oh, I have been watching... Speaking of fun, spooky anime, I've been watching the 07 series of Kitaro, which is all yokai stuff. Oh, oh geez, just barely got that. Um, but there was a giant skeleton episode. Gashidokoro is a cool yokai that is a giant skeleton formed from the souls of the dead. Usually on, like, a big battlefield or something. But it's really cool. Um, that was in the episode I watched, so just today. I was like, there's a skeleton recommendation. Find something with a Gashidokoro in it. 
Oh, oh, oh. Mm. I need to just stay by the signal, I guess, because every time I move away, someone gets on it. Kitaro I've mentioned a few times, but it's all yokai stuff, and it, there's been a new one every decade since the 60s. There's a 60s series, 70s, 80s, 90s, early aughts, and then they just had one 2018, but they're all varying tones, but I've been watching the one from the, uh, from 07 recently. They're fun. If you want something a little scarier, there is Hakaba Kitaro, which is like Graveyard Kitaro. That one has spookier stuff to it. Oh, okay. They're just standing there. I'm trying to get some more of this, because I don't know what's going on with some of this ink coverage over here for Team Orange. I feel like I'm on Team Skeleton with how many times I'm getting orange here. Purple has zero percent? Oh, they didn't disconnect, though. Did they just give up? I did not meant to uh, realize the whole time. I was too busy thinking of spooky, scary skeletons. Alright, I guess I'm not going to bother messing with the uh, purple team at all. It always feels futile trying to... Hey! fight back against the Ultra Signals. Yeah, that was weird. I don't know if I've ever seen a team not disconnect but not do anything. Look, they, yeah, 0%. <laughs> ah, we lost. But just barely any. The Ultra Signals didn't help. Jedi Owl got the Golden Deep Cut badges. Awesome. Congratulations. I haven't had a 10 times battle in a while. Do I want to use my sea snails on these weird bone shoes? That's what I'm debating right now. I'm feeling a little bit of brush fatigue, honestly. Hmm. Let's try out the newly buffed Junior. I have the custom too, don't I? Where is that? There it is. Uh, the normal one's probably better. Where is... Yeah, let's do this. These shoes aren't as spooky, but they should be a little better. I've barely worn this mummy head wrap. Let's do that. Okay. And then I'm going to try to do some passwords here. Let's find... Oh, well, hold on a sec. <laughs> so if you are a night owl or above, I'm going to put the password in the special room on the Discord. If you're not part of the Discord, please join. There's a link down in the description. Okay. Let's try that again. Oh, no, no. Sorry if you're trying to jump in. I didn't do the password. One thing I would like is the menus to be a little snappier. <laughs> I misclicked. That was my fault. All right. Okay. Alright, if you want to jump in here, thank you, Gigi, for protecting the password. Yeah, I should go back to Stamper a little bit here. Chainsaw for Splatoween. Alright, anyone Night Owl or above? Password's in there. Jump in if you wanna. Well, there's some ghost faces in the Discord. <laughs> they made a real-life version of the Squid Mask? We get to enjoy Deeper's Creepers while we wait. 
Already starting to get hungry. The scariest thing about Splatoween is how fast I get peckish. <laughs> I ate before I took a power nap, and that was the mistake. Should have ate after. I think I can go back. I can walk around while we're waiting, right? Yep. It kind of overlaps, but you can hear the crab and go music when you get over here. If I put my camera like this, it really overpowers it. It's fun. You can't talk to... Oh, yeah, you can when you're waiting. Ten more, and then I need a new one. Oh, I, didn't they... They used to not let you do some of this stuff. Phantasmagoric Power Egg. That one's really good. Phantasmagoric is like a spooky word. Good timing with that. Yeah, you used to not be able to do the lockers, I think, when you were waiting for someone. Rafa, thank you for joining. Let's try this. I feel like I have to put Phantasmagoric on. Power Egg, good for a Salmon Run player. Such as I. Okay, and I should have a little bit easier time with my ink coverage now. But, I mentioned last night in 5.1, the recent patch, the Junior and the Custom Junior have a 6% run speed buff when you're firing, I believe, specifically. Yeah, Sweet T-Rex, I hope they keep the Halloween songs in the jukebox as well. I don't know if that's going to happen. They are, might be Splatoween specific. Someone's got the Amiibo Knight helmet. Alright, we're attacking. Good, 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 good. Yeah, I feel like defending I get frustrated after a little bit because I'm just like, well, it's, it, you keep whittling down the signal, eventually someone's going to get it. It feels, uh, feels tough to really hold it down. No, I went for... <laughs> I put that in the Discord, but <laughs> went for a deadly dip in the haunted hot springs. Well, now I know there isn't a wall there. Apologies to Rafa and everyone who had to witness that. Oh, wait, we're attacking. Shouldn't have done that. Sorry! <laughs> they got it. They got it anyways. <laughs> I like this ink color. This isn't the green of Team Zombie, but it is a... Uh, phantasmagoric ink. Sort of ectoplasm setup. I want to get... My bubbler set up over there, if I can. <laughs> Didn't help that much. That's okay. Oh, I could jump in if they don't destroy it in time. <laughs> All right, they were waiting. Mark's here. Hi, Mark. Oh. Okay, just waiting for me, huh? No mercy. I need to be on the ball a little more when I jump in. Not reading the chat between lives. Now that purple team has both the ultra signals, there's nothing for me to do but reverse spawn camp. Purple team's doing the thing where they're being jerks, where they can't, they're not satisfied with the area they have. They have to try to get our base too, instead of fighting orange. Another part of tricolor that I don't necessarily enjoy. The infighting that happens between the two attacking teams. Yeah, they are really like, we need every inch of this thing. They're not satisfied with just winning. I think they probably took it, though. Kayla's here too! Everyone's here! 
I don't know if Haley and Al are, but most of the mods are here. <laughs> Rafa, are you you're cosplaying as the Karate Kid for Halloween? So many ghosts. Yeah, I do. I would not be surprised if Ghost wins popularity at this point with how many we keep seeing. All right, let me swap weapons. I could have done that while I had the room open. Oops, apologies. Quick respawn's probably pretty good for the stamper, right? I would think so. Hmm. This might not be a, good, a bad setup. I'm going to keep it. Some sort of weird chainsaw-wielding mummy. Let's go. Mm -mm. Let's do a different GG for the password. I did it wrong, didn't I? <laughs> I'm sorry, shrimp. Why didn't it? There we go. Man, I'm feeling off tonight. I think it's three streams in a row. Three stream nights in a row is getting to me a little bit, but... There we go. All right. Spooky GG. Let me know if you're trying to jump in. I will make sure to make room for you. Do I sleep? Ask positive synergy. Uh, occasionally. <laughs> I need to get a better sleep schedule. I'm doing a lot of, like, I will stay up pretty late, and then, um, I did do the password right, right? Um, I'll stay up pretty late, and then I will sleep during the day a little bit. Kind of vampire schedule. I'm on that Drac sleep setup, you know? Charchu's trying to listen to the password, and they can tell that it's different because they're listening to the beeps and bloops. I think I put in the right password. Now I'm second guessing myself. I'm gonna do it one more time. Charchu could tell it's different, so I think I did it right. <laughs> There we go. All right. Anyone else? Rafa can jump in. Whoever. This is any anybody. Night owl or treat giver. Go for it. You have to be a ghost as well, though. Skeleton's in the lead right now. Yep. At halftime. I'm not sleep deprived. I just sleep weird. I'm also... I think it's more that I'm hungry that I'm feeling a little off. And have streamed a ton in the last bit but thank you for being concerned <laughs> mom is that mom are you in the chat mom zombies i think we had like one match against zombies they might be the rarest although who knows sometimes that happens like we'll have no like one team won't show up at all in the north american servers and then it's the most popular team in Japan. You know, it's it, you can never tell. The, again, I'll say this almost every time, but the, the matches we play is a fraction of a fraction of a percent of what's actually happening throughout the Splatfest, so. Okay. Yeah, has Fry won any? It's sad. I do, yeah, I wouldn't be that sad of Skeleton. I think she won Sweet. Right? And sweet, sour, and spicy. But I do think uh, skeleton winning wouldn't be the worst thing in the world. Rafa, you can jump in again if no one else jumps in here. I just want to give people a chance, but also I don't want to idle on this screen forever. Yeah, I think we've had a few, maybe one or two zombie matches. I've had a lot of friendly fire ghost battles competing over graveyard turf. And a bunch of skeletons. Ashley's in here. There we go. All right. Ashley, you can ink and I'll <laughs> sink. No. I'll, I can ink well. 
I'm just gonna try my best to also zip around on all the cool hot spring signage here at Brinewater Springs. But yeah, as much fun as Splatoween has been, I think I'm gonna hit max rank and call it a night in a little while here, cause yeah, we got to see a bit of the tricolor. We have extra work next weekend, I should mention. People have already leaked what is happening in extra work, you know, the waves, all the stuff. And I won't spoil it, but I did put a little thing in the Discord if you want the good and bad news about extra work. I gotta get the muscle memory down of charging my vertical shots in the exact timing so I can use them more often. Sometimes uh, in the, hit, the heat of combat, I'll just constantly do horizontal. That doesn't do as much damage. What are you wearing, Ashley? You got the plague mask on, or? Yeah, looks like it. Okay. But yeah, we'll probably do a bit of extra work next weekend, and then before we know it, chill seasons come, you know, in a month, and we'll have a new big run. Yeah, look how many ghosts there are. The episode of Kitara I watched, he was fighting a giant skeleton, and he's from the Ghost Tribe, so maybe that is a positive the Ghost Tribe is supposed to be almost extinct, except for him and his dad, who is just an eyeball. He's like undead. It's a strange concept, but it's fun. Alright, so we are going against orange. The colors keep changing because of all these friendly fires that I need to be on the ball of who we are up against more. Well, I got somebody. That's another problem with uh, Friendly Fire is I'm purple for once, but because we're all ghosts, you have to be like, wait, I'm orange this time, I'm, I'm purple, I'm attacking, I'm defending. Constantly have to update a lot of mental uh, things to tell you who, oh, we'll let them get it. Great. They can have, they got both of them already, wow. Should have maybe zipped around a little more. Yoshi's Revenge. That classic Yoshi game. <laughs> the Yoshi series took a dark turn with Yoshi's Revenge. They don't push in on their base. That's our job. in there. Hmm. Okay, this is the time to jump in. Get Yoshi. Ah, Yoshi. <laughs> no, that's <was> dandy. <laughs> All right, we got to be careful because I'm sitting over here too ma long and if blue doesn't get enough turf over there we're gonna be in trouble right, I'm going in yep Ashley had the same idea <laughs> like let's just go around try to get more of this Dragon Quest Builders. I just did... Oh, no. Did we... Uh, orange still got us. That's what I was worried about. They are pushing... We had blue pushing in, but then orange still had enough. Let's 
my PlayStation randomly was like, let's re-download the Dragon Quest Builders demo for some reason. <laughs> that that was yeah, another Halloween sign when your PlayStation's haunted. So I was thinking about Builders again recently. I didn't get that deep into that, and then they added like things you can ride on, like monster friends and like a saber cat cub that you can ride. I should have stuck with that a little longer. Could have had animal friends. Let's get our stamper down. Yeah, I'm a little rusty with this thing. <laughs> Too many colors, too many buttons. That's the tagline for Splatoon, yeah. I gotta remember I can burst bomb walls and find a hidden ghost octopus. Alright. We are... I'm gonna try to pay attention more. We are defending. And... We are orange, <laughs> despite being purple on the team. All right, heavy edit, squiffer, let's attack, try stringer. We're against the heavy edit and the squiffer. Not. Ah. They got me. <laughs> Look out, Ashley. They're squiffing. doing my strat. <laughs> no, it's not my strat. The strat of having a bunch of specials in the way so you can't actually uh... Yeah, get him, Ashley. some of the signs are here, but I'm going to try to find them. Back to cooler. Ashley's going in. This is no energy drinks for you, purple team. They're up there. Hopefully things are going okay back here as we spawn camp. Cheeky little spawn campers. <laughs> Get your bubble out of here. Buddies seem to be doing well. Oh, we didn't get a lot of this extra turf over here. Uh-oh, uh-oh. Okay, good. Oh, they got it. We've been paying enough attention. I went after the heavy edit, and then the squiffer must have grabbed it. It's okay. Get a little more turf here, and we should be... Good. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Fish bump? No. I haven't had one in a little bit. 
Are you winning, son? Says Grunky. We just got that one. Feeling the rust, feeling the fatigue, but having fun. Splatanas are very fulfilling if you can do well with them because you get those cool one hit slices. I think I'm going to try to stick with it a little bit because hopping weapons is not helping me too much. They're already starting to absorb into my face, but I, another thing, too, is this week I just got glasses for the first time, so this is day four of having glasses, and uh, still getting used to it. In general, it's helping, but it is an adjustment, period. All right. Ashley likes this map. I'm a little mixed. I think aesthetically it might be my favorite map in the game. Gameplay-wise, it can be a little rough. It's very like, yeah, you're either spawn camping or getting spawn camped sometimes. This is the feeling. Okay. So... Oh! Wait a sec. We're attacking. Is this an actual... This is an actual one, because I see Team Skeleton. And there's Team Zombie, so... This one counts. I'm gonna try to actually do my part. Thank you for covering some of that. Uh-oh. I saw them sneaking around. Can we, we can go up there, right? Or no? We have big betrayal. Uh-oh. Where's that tri-stringer coming from? They're all the way back there. <laughs> They're just kind of sitting on that. I guess that's a strat. Blocking it with your body. Oh, that's why. Man, we finally got one, and one of the team zombies went back to the grave. Unfortunate. No wonder they were kind of just sitting there. No. Spooky, scary disconnects. Alright, let's try again. Buddington the third, thank you so much. Seven months as a night owl. There's a distraction message. We'll always support you, Captain. Thank you so much, Waffle. That's the name I usually use. But occasionally it's fun to say Buddington the third. <laughs> Oh, so the Bloop Troop, the competitive team that has spun off of the community, won their most recent Ludi match in the, the Splatoon tournaments. Awesome. Congrats, Grunky and Lego and the others. I did see some of the clips, but I haven't been keeping up with that. They did a nice uh, variation of Bloopert for a logo. That's nice. That's in the Discord as well. Is the heron based off of a great blue heron? Asked Charge you. Yes. I always feel like I find uh, I run into herons a lot, so I had a weird connection to them that has stayed lifelong. Excited for the new Ghibli movie, The Boy and the Heron. <laughs> yeah, we got a little more than a month till that comes out properly over here. Uh, it's another friendly fire match. Man. Chips Ahoy. They're making me hungry. Oh, well. Yeah, I was like, we gotta focus. This is the this is the big leagues, boys. And then disconnect. Oh, ah, man. <laughs> Couldn't get a beat on them well enough. Thank you for cleaning that up, Ashley. By the time we're ready to end, I will be warmed up. I did take like a month off of the game, so. Watch 
that paintbrush. Okay. Chips ahoy! How dare you make me feel hunger in the middle of a stream? I want cookies. No, I don't need cookies. Um, I'm curious how many people are like crunchy, crispy cookie people, and how many people are soft, chewy cookie people. Because I'm, I've never really been into the kind of crispy cookie, but they're very common. So I've, someone's got to like them, right? I always like the soft, chewy cookies. I feel like if they're kind of underbaked, that's ideal. Ashley's going off. She's inspiring me. The rivalry is inspiring me to play as better as I can. <laughs> I was going to say my best, but no. I'm trying to play better than I have at times. All right. We're getting back to it. I'm zipping all over the place. If they went down to get the ultra signal, right? There we go. <laughs> we just need to make sure we got a bunch of ink. Down here, right? Uh oh, uh oh. They're getting the signal right at the end. I was trying to get my ink coverage set up and then I messed that up. Okay, hopefully that's orange. So many ghosts versus ghosts versus ghosts. Hmm, cookie in the fridge. I've never tried that. Yeah, good job. We did it, Ashley. Soft cookies. Soft cookies. Crunchy. That's the problem. Sometimes you can't tell if you're getting crunchy or soft cookie until it's too late. I'd take any cookie right now. Two ghost fish kissing in the lobby. Cerberus, this is an, sounds like an urban legend. Where's that? Let's try to find it. Well, first I'm gonna roll this. Oh wait, we can't once we're queuing. It's when I'm searching for somebody. I can roll the shell out machine. So Splatana Stamper did get a nerf in the last patch. You need 10 more special points to get your zip caster. So I think it did well in a tournament. People were looking and there's a Koshian Japanese tournament where a bunch of weapons that did good got nerfed. That's kind of how they're doing some of the balancing. All right. And it looks like this place is haunted. You see all the silhouettes in the back? That happens regardless of whether it's a Splatoween or not, but this makes me think of a, some sort of yokai party happening in the bathhouse. Ooh, we got long-range weapons to deal with here. We want the signal, right? Yeah. Okay. Oh. <laughs> They're just gonna wait for me to be done with my ultra signal, most likely. Ah, oh, that would have been so cool if I pulled it off. I charged when I was jumping in. Uh. 
they behind me? Oh, thank you so much, Steven. That was quite a distraction. Where are they throwing these from? I just see them. Are they coming from down below? There we go. Ah! <laughs> Somebody with a torpedo, which is... Is that the Dapple Dooley? I don't know some of my stuff as well. Oh, yeah, they're just hanging out over there. They're playing tricks. Did they escape? They were just, like, camping our base throwing torpedoes from behind. That, that's how they have fun, I guess. Well, in the meantime, the other team's getting the ultra signal a bunch, so enjoy. Ah! <laughs> right, we gotta clean up, because if Orange gets this after all those tricks, I'm gonna be sad. Thank you, Steven and Ashley. They said, distraction, skeletons, now's your chance. Rattle them, boys. All right. Luckily, blue team helped us there. It's interesting that we have the purple, orange, and then the sort of blue instead of the green of zombies. Yeah, that torpedo camper was uh, being real tricky for a little while. Found him eventually, and then they ran. Alright. Couple more matches, and we'll have our max rank. And then I can eat something. I should get a snack. But I need a meal. practicing my long-range stuff. I like the mummy uh, head wrap more than I thought I was gonna. It was kind of down there on my rankings. I think, I think the uh, Swim Reaper and the Bleak Beak are my favorites, though. Yeah, let me know if you're in the Night Owl's Roost and you want to jump in. I'm having a good time playing with Ashley. But I want to make sure no one's like, I'm waiting. Okay. Did we get a real... We got a real one again. I hope we don't get a disconnect. We got the zombie green. Man, they just immediately charged up their specials. Yeah! Give me the bolt! <laughs> okay. I got somebody with a zip caster at least. zombies. They're pushing me back with that tri screamer though. Uh-oh. 
they get you, Ashley? They did. There goes the tri stringer. Uh, <laughs> ah, their partner got me. Trying to be cheeky and get in there. I know a big weakness of mine is not coordinating with my teammates well enough, and then I get in situations where I get ganged up on because I'm not doing a good job of uh, paying attention to what my team is doing. Okay. Wait a sec. All right. Here we go. Anybody else back here? Okay. Oh wait, what am I doing? I'm defending. I don't know. I was letting people get the ultra signal without thinking about it. Man, I kind of blew that one. <laughs> I don't know why I was like, oh, we're attacking, so I just let them get it. I was just sitting on zombies the whole time. I blanked. Apologies. Some nights you're just not together with uh, Game Brain. I think, I, yeah, I'm going to try to hit max rank here, or ruler rank, and then I think that is it. Apologies. Let's change gear. Um... I might try Splash for a little bit. This seems good. The Bleak Beak will power me up. I have to make that mental note at the beginning of the match. Okay. This is what color I am. This is what I need to be doing. Because if I don't, I go into autopilot. There we go. Now we match. <laughs> we are the plague twins. We twirl and twirl and twirl. <laughs> Let's see. Well, no time for a snack, but I'm going to have some coffee. I am, we're all ghosts, so I might be a random color. <laughs> I am orange. I am defending. Very important to notice these things. And we got this bright and cheery song for Splatoween. Undoing all of our great work here at Spawn. Where'd they go? Ah! We had him. A second too late. What's the play once they get the signal? Do you even bother just keep inking the same turf over and over again that you can't recover fully because they have a signal there?
stood under their signal with my crab. Got sprayed. Because, yeah, this feels like a losing battle to stay here and just have to constantly repaint. I guess I'm getting more uh, special charge doing this, right? But they still got their super jump off. Thank you, Gooigi. Try to read that in a second. Brush, I can at least outpace relatively well with this weapon. Get him! Ah. Nah. <laughs> well, <laughs> kill cam goes all the way over there. Yeah, for whatever reason, I'm having a rougher time than the last Splatfest. <laughs> Great timing, right at the end of the match. Thank you, Guiji. Halloween pun, everyone go. Oh! Yeah, throw your puns in the chat. No, well, we were pretty close to winning that. About a percent. Attack the weakest team. Attackers only win if the defenders come last. Gotta be pump kidding me. Says Steven. Thank you. Okay, am I? I'm still with Ashley, right? Is Waffle trying to get in here? Let me double check. Thank you for the server boost, Steven. Some good pumpkins in the Discord. I'm just catching up on what people have been up to. Oh, Ashley didn't ready up. That's okay. Good job. On winning that last match, we didn't win, I don't think, but thank you for the pun. <laughs> well, we're going to have a rando, probably. We'll see. I'm going to try to focus on the game and not thinking about what I'm going to eat after this. I could have eyeballs. Oh, we have grapes. I've been freezing grapes. They're really good. Um, but if you, that's always the, the trick. I, I think I first remember seeing that in a Rugrats episode, the like putting, you would peel the grapes and put them in a bowl. And then if people weren't uh, looking, you know, you would feel them and it would be like, ooh, it's eyeballs. All right. I knew, uh, you know, chilled grapes were a good food, but I didn't realize how much more flavorful they are when you freeze them. And then you let them thaw for like 10 or 15 minutes or something, but they're real good. Instead of candy, that's what I've been eating more. It was a sweet treat. Someone's got a booyah coming. there. <laughs> Squid beacon out of there. There we go. Just had to get a, just had to pick a weapon that I don't have to think about as much. Now we're starting to do better. Oh, where are we? 
I think I'm also in random stuff and not friend matches anymore, so. We got people that aren't coordinating in the same way. <laughs> My crab! Someone made a real version of the crab tank. That's really cool. It's like actually moves around and goes into ball form and all that stuff. I think it was a Japanese, uh, I'm guessing engineer, to be able to pull that off. Survived that. Here comes the booyah. to this lead. We'll be good. Oh, they got a signal right at the end. Hmm. Some good puns. Okay, good. We got one. Be more excited if it was uh, <laughs> against actual Team Zombie and Skeleton, but we got matched with another Bleak Beaker. Yeah, let's open it back up to everybody. Then people in the pool can join. Couple more wins and I'll be maxed out. There we go. Grunky wants to join. Should we join them real quick? They've got the bloop troop tag. Tag BT Grunky. Some more Halloween recommendations. So if you are looking other stuff. You know, trying to find other spooky things. I like a lot of monster movies and things like that I mentioned. Um, the host is... Some of these might be a little sad. <laughs> I was gonna say, uh, sometimes monster movies are a little sad. Uh, just horror in general. But the host, I think it's just called Monster in Korean. It's a K-horror movie. It's the same director as Parasite that won that Oscar recently, but Bong Joon-ho. That's a way earlier movie. That was the first movie I, I've seen of his, but that has a big monster in it. Very good characters and character development. Um, what other spooky movies are up there for me? I've been trying to find more spooky shows. Danny and I just watched The Terror, season one of that. That was pretty good historical horror. Thank you so much for jumping in so many uh, matches, Ashley. I appreciate it. Do you play any horror games? I haven't in a while, Rafa. I'm planning on picking one for Halloween. I have one in mind, specifically. Another ghost battle. No wonder I'm hearing so many ghosts in the background going, Woo! All right, Grunky. Show us what the bloop troop is made of. And we are attacking this time. We got the cool spooky blue. Ectoplasm. I'm just gonna get enough to get. Oh no, Grunky. Try to get enough to get my crab tank and then mow through this Booyah bomb, hopefully. Oh man. They managed to break my crab and kill me and get by Grunky. Or Grunky got by them. What's going on with these ghosts? They went in and booyahed me immediately. 
Now, hopefully, they're too distracted by the ultra signal. Well, that's what you get for booyahing. Bombing, rather. Seeing so many aerosprays, which is normal for Turf War, but I feel like it's increased even more. The aerospray got that buff. Ah! Yeah, I heard it. I didn't know it was behind me. Ooh, Waffle got a 10 times win. Good job. Everyone's getting their badges slowly but surely. Nice, Grunky. Saw the ultra signal land on me. Let's get them! And they respawned quick. Do they have a tactical cooler or they just did it? Go. Purple's gonna win here, but that's fine. As long as orange loses. <laughs> they tied holding hands. <laughs> Tried to get my revenge on the Booyah Bomb. Yeah, this place has good spooky orange vibes at night. Regardless of... I think it's going to look this way even if it wasn't Splatterween. Alright! <laughs> we won by 0.1%. <laughs> and I had overall splatter. Yeah, Aerospray has a cheaper Booyah Bomb now. Their special charge is even faster. Okay. Good job, Grunky. Thank you for the support. Probably like one or two wins away. Maybe one good win. Let's, let's see if we can do it, Grunky. Show us the power of a looty winning team. I think, is Grunky the captain, or is it Waffle might, or not Waffle, uh, is it Mad Wakiri that, that started the, the new bloop troop? I forget. I'm pretty sure Grunky made the logo. Ah, uh, one gold away from the fish bump. I'm having fun getting my crab tanks again. I think this is a good map for Crab Tank because you can really hit so many spots on it. I, think I just had to switch to the splash matic and then my brain doesn't have to work as hard. <laughs> Alright, our last one here maybe is going to be Ghosts again. But maybe the Ghosts still win popularity. Original Poltergeist, yes I have seen that. That one's pretty good. Going against, or no, that's our allies, are the double juniors. Blue team has Arnold and Danny DeVito together. All right, crap time. Oh, that's Grunky. Forgot I was purple for a second. This is the ghost colors, so I should embrace having purple. <laughs> what do they have? I'm worried they're gonna outrange. 
damage me. I see Azuka. Look. Oh. Well, didn't see that bomb till it was too late. Yeah, it is a lot easier for people to push up into your spawn on this with those extra crates. Yep, they're trying it again. <laughs> Just try to throw a bomb right behind me when I'm crapping, but I, I expected it this time. Nice. Good job, Grunky. There we go. Get him out of here. Getting ready for them to respawn. Being worried, I'm gonna get stuck up on, or a bomb's gonna drop behind me. That's just the ultra signal. Don't be afraid. Ooh, got that zip caster before it could do much. <laughs> Can't zuka me. All right. <laughs> Yeah, we did it. Good job, Grunky. You got the signal, I got some splats. Oh, not quite. That's okay. Even without the fish bump, we know we won. I, lo I, I need to get that Marlin banner. It Wasn't that chill se season? I didn't get that one last time, I don't think. Or is that fresh? Oh, uh, we're so close. We're going to have to do one more. Can I go to the crab and go? Oh, she... <laughs> I'm right here, ma'am. Please. I need... I need to eat one of those disgusting plates of food back there. Could I just... Could I... She just doesn't even acknowledge me when I'm queued up. Unfortunately. The only thing I can do is go look at lockers. And remember that I need to... <laughs> I need to organize this a bit. There's a lot of creepy things staring at us. Some of them walking on the walls. All right. <laughs> I'll have to wait to get some food in game and out. But this should be the last one. There goes Crunky, riding on his reef slider. All right, thank you all for sticking with me. Apologize for a little bit of the rusty play, but that's how it goes. Had a lot of Mario the past week. Been Mario brained. I'm trying to think of the last horror game I've actually played. Oh, uh, Danny and I played Resident Evil Village. Oh, we got an actual, a uh, real one. Yeah, here we go. Okay. Let's do it, Grunky. We are defending, though, unfortunately. Although, no, no, it's not that bad defending. I just. Hope that we don't get any disconnects. That's Team Skeleton over there. They traded. Ah, uh, well. Fortunately, I was too busy running from that guy. We lost the signal already. The skeleton, their partner went in while I was dealing with them. Smart.
Ah! No, I didn't even take him out. I hit him and then I got Booyah bombed and they're just doing a good job of coordinating, coordinating their attacks on the signal with their specials. Okay. Well, time to gang up on Team Zombie, it sounds like. These guys are... They already have both of the Ultra Signals. So that's not even a thing. I don't even have to defend anymore, technically. Are they going after Team Zombie? Seems like they're all the way over there. <laughs> Didn't quite lock that down quick enough, but luckily they forgot about me. Yeah, this is uh, seeming kind of rough here. <laughs> took him down. I don't know if this is gonna happen. Win or lose, I think that might be it. Yeah, they... Skeleton just pushed, pushed, pushed in so quickly. Although, Grunky was messing with their base. No! They won by less than a percent. Oh, well. They did a good good job of... Uh, look how many badges they have. They did a good job of having one of them use a special and the other one rush in while we were distracted. Subterfuge. From the Bony Boys over on Team Skeleton. Alright, they rattled us. But that's okay. There we go. We are a ghost ruler. And that's good enough for me. I hope everyone had a fun time during Splatoween. Let's go ahead. Judd has more to say, but I need to use my shells. We got three more. Here we go. I already got a cool title, so I'm happy with that. Rare Sashimi! Ooh! That's pretty good. Non-existent sumo wrestler. <laughs> These are all pretty good. Let's do one more. I, I keep getting good titles, but I'm gonna roll, roll the dice one more time. Oh! I have that cushion in real life. It's behind me. There it is. I can see it. And the... Old paintbrushes from somebody. All right. Oh, did what? I just saw a thing. Waffle. It looked like uh, won a match, and and Big Man was announcing it. Got so many phantasmagoric bird. We have so many different chauffeur. <laughs> I'll I'll just get. I could do rare bird. So many options now. Phantasmagoric power egg. <laughs> there we go. Ghost sushi. Thank you all once again. Let's go listen to Anarchy Rainbow. The spooky version before we finish up. All right, Lego jumped in right at the end. Yeah, we're gonna call it quits a little early, around the same t time, you know, length that we had the last stream. Let's go ahead and scrub slots. Sometimes I forget to do that and it's cheap. Make sure you put the right abilities on your shirt, get your chunks back, all that good stuff. I'm gonna just do <laughs> ability I don't care about. Give me back my chunks. Merch. Okay. And uh get into a good spot here. And this is key. Oops. This is key. 
turn motion controls off just for this. Thank you all so much for watching. If you want to leave a like, I appreciate it. I'm going to thank the members. We got two new members this stream. And they were... JCN, I remember. And Jet Owl. They both rejoined the early birds. Thank you so much. And then here are the current members, starting with Tubby and Gigi Treat Giver, Somberlene, Steven, Mark, Ashley, Alina, Zach, Josh, and Kayla. I think most of you were in here tonight. I appreciate it. And here are our night owls. We saw Dimples earlier. Kirby was in here. Played with Brian briefly. Jimbles, I think, was around last night. Guiji was here tonight. And then the early birds. Appreciate you all. It's good to see so many of you consistently in here. Instead of that spooky. <laughs> they uh, definitely put a little bit of stink on the song for Splatoween. Okay. Oops, wrong thing. There we go. Big man. His dance, instead of looking like he's gonna fall over, now it just has like a very like, whoa, he's a ghost. He's a little more like Oogie Boogie than a ghost. He might be filled with bugs. Big man might just uh, make a special batch of snake and spider stew or whatever he says. Thank you all again. Hope you have a good Splatoween and a good Halloween. Good luck to all the teams, especially Team Ghost. And uh, yeah, I'm gonna get something to eat. There's nothing scarier than an empty stomach. I'll see you all next time, next weekend, extra work. See you then, check out Mario and other stuff, I appreciate it. Goodbye.